respected delegates, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for taking the time and joining us today. I would like to extend a very warm welcome to one and all to Praram, a platform that focuses on policies and initiatives that will be implemented to boost the defense sector in India as part of the upcoming DEF Expo 2022 taking place from the 10th to 13th March in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. We are gathered here to reflect upon the reforms that aim at furthering indigenization, further strengthening the vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat and laying the foundations for India emerging as defense manufacturing hub for the world. As rightly said by the Honorable Defense Minister Sri Rajnath Singh, resurgent India will display its ability to take lead at Dev Expo 2022, sowing the seeds of successful new ventures and international partnerships to promote shared prosperity, boost investment, expand manufacturing and bolster aerospace and defense ecosystems in India. Our visionaries will shine a light on the progress we have made towards this collective goal, including digitizing internal processes, formulating schemes aimed at promoting ease of doing business, and encouraging the manufacture and purchase of indigenous products, which act as the supporting wings for manufacturing in the defense sector, encouraging independence, empowering innovation, and inspiring a sense of indigenous pride. Our next guest of honor leads us towards a smarter, secure, and more self-reliant future. To begin the event with a very special address, please join me in welcoming the Defense Secretary, Ministry of Defense, Dr. Ajay Kumar. During the last couple of years, government has taken several historic measures to create a more vibrant defense industry ecosystem. Special efforts have been made to encourage private sector participation in the sector. This year, 64% of our budget has been earmarked for domestic industry. And out of this, 25% has been earmarked for private industry alone. Emphasis has also been given to startup and to ensure that technologies and products which have been developed by startups are used by armed forces. 1,000 crore rupees have been earmarked for procurement from startups alone. Corporatization of OFB, putting a ban of import under the 209 items which have been notified under the positive indigenization list, 108 items notified by DRDO for development by industry are some of the other measures which have been taken by government to promote the defense industry ecosystem. Going forward, we want to ensure that there is equal level playing field both for defense industry as well as for the public sector. We want to give focus both to export as well as to domestic design and manufacturing. 75 years of independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is a watershed moment as far as defense production ecosystem in the country is concerned. <clears throat> We look back and reflect on some of our achievements. But what is more important that at this point of time, we all take a collective resolve that we will make India Aat Nirbhar in defense. As our Honorable Prime Minister has said, Indian defense industry should make not only for our own armed forces, but for the world. Can we not, we all the stakeholders in the defense production ecosystem, whether it is the armed forces, whether it is the research establishment, whether it is the production ecosystem, can we not take a collective resolve that henceforth we shall not import defense equipment. Can we not look at all the import 
which has resulted in dependence on foreign technologies and products. I think today when we are launching this virtual exhibition, this resolve could guide us in our future endeavor. I wish all the very best. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Thank you, Dr. Ajay Kumar, for giving us an in-depth analysis into the opportunities for tomorrow's defense manufacturers, playing a remarkable role in establishing IDEX, innovation for defense excellence, and being an ardent advocate of information technology for development and governance. Our next honored speaker has been a torchbearer for the defense sector in India. To share his perspectives on the initiatives being strengthened towards Please join me in welcoming Additional Secretary in the Department of Defence Production, DDP, Mr. Sanjay Jaju. Self-reliance in defence has been the cornerstone of India's defence production policy and uh, the recent call for Atmanirbhar Bharat by the Honourable Prime Minister has provided further impetus to realise the goal of self-reliance in defence production. Friends, Indian defense industries, primarily which caters to the needs of the armed forces, has evolved in 75 years of our independence with diversified product mix and market. Propelled by the recent successes that we have achieved in exports, India is set to realize its potential as an emerging defense manufacturing hub. The aim is to bring India amongst the top countries of the world in defense sector from design to production and provide enhanced reach to the market which includes the exports and here we would like to have a robust mix of the public and the private sector. In the Ministry of Defence we have set a target to achieve a turnover of Rs 1,75,000 crore including exports of 35,000 crore in aerospace and defence goods and services by the year 24-25. Friends, since 2014, the Government of India has brought in many reforms in the defence sector in order to create a conducive ecosystem for exports, FDI, and to provide a stimulus to demand for indigenous products. Promotion of exports of Indian defence product is helping us change our direction from make in India to make in India for the world. Friends, we also have the make procedures of the capital procurement which have been simplified and more than 60 projects are currently uh, going on under the make to procedure of the defense acquisition procedure. In order to bring startups into the defense ecosystem, we have created innovations for defense excellence which is acting as a bridge between the startups and the Ministry of Defense and is helping us create prototypes and solve futuristic problems and uh, bring in solutions to the military problems. We also have two defense industrial corridors, one in the state of Uttar Pradesh and another in the state of Tamil Nadu. And these two corridors have been created to provide a conducive ecosystem for the holistic development of the defense manufacturing uh, uh, processes. You are also aware that a decision has been taken to convert Ordnance Factory Board into seven new companies which have been dedicated to the nation on the 1st October 2021. We are in, into our 75th year of independence and we are all celebrating the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahasav and we all aim to bring India amongst the top countries of the world in defense sector from design to production and create a, a robust participation of the public as well as the private sector. As a precursor to the Defence Expo 2022, proposed to be held at Gandhinagar in Gujarat, where we will be showcasing India's journey of 75 years for Atmanirbhar Bharat, we have now brought in this showcase in which we are depicting 75 stories across the Aero systems, naval systems, land systems, electronics and missiles and all this has been curated as an experiential and an immersive walkthrough on a virtual platform. To make 
it a holistic congregation of display of machines and intelligence along with interaction and infotainment. This virtual exhibition will have seven day virtual events which have been designed to engage the stakeholders involving the ministry, the manufacturers, innovators and the common masses across the country.